Is skin picking disorder linked to your diet? The answer is surprisingly yes. This is Nicola Zanetti. I am a senior nutrition college lecturer. I am a free times herbal selling author and I'm also a nutritional therapist myself. And in this video here, I will tell you about foods linked to skin picking disorder. And I will tell you the three foods that really make skin picking disorder worse. They make the skin worse, but not only that, they make the urge to pick worse. We need to understand them because it's very, very important. Problem number one. What do you expect this to be? This is going to be sugar, especially refined sugar, white sugar. Why? Well, because sugar is a major source of inflammation in the body. And please bear with me, I know I need to explain something to you, but it's very important. Sugar triggers a hormone in your body called insulin. Why is this important for you? Let me tell you more about it. So you eat some foods with sugar, let's say cookies, okay? Your blood sugar goes higher. Is your body happy with blood sugar being higher? No, 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 because it's potentially dangerous. Your body makes you produce insulin to bring your blood sugar down. But if you're just having like this kind of refined sugar, it goes below your base level. What does it mean? You're going to feel hungry again, and when you feel hungry, when your blood sugar goes too low, you release another hormone called cortisol. Why is that a problem for you? Because cortisol is the stress hormone. Now, you're hungry and you're also stressed. What do you think is gonna happen? You're probably going to peak at that stage. Why? Because a third hormone comes into the picture, which is dopamine. You peak and you start to feel better. You're like, oh, okay, now I'm less relaxed. Uh, I'm more relaxed and less stressed. Do you see the problem here? So sugar is a big no-no. And obviously I'm making things easier than they actually are, but just for you to understand. So sugar is a big no-no. Second food to avoid if you have skin picking disorder, which one do you expect that to be? It's gonna be obviously alcohol. Why? Because first of all, alcohol literally like uh, damages the receptors in your brain, which are so important for skin picking disorder. What do I mean by that? Skin picking disorder, let's repeat this together. Skin picking disorder is not a bad habit. Skin picking disorder is not a matter of you being weak. Skin picking disorder is a health condition which has been, especially in the last five years, been proven beyond any shadow of a doubt that activates areas of the brain which are not activated in someone without skin picking and under makes it less activation of some other areas of the brain which are not the case with someone without skin picking, period. And this can lead to some imbalances in how your brain biochemistry work, meaning this is not your fault. Let me repeat this, this is not your fault. It's not about talking about it. It's not about reliving your childhood. It's about something much deeper, which is if the brain biochemistry is not working, you can talk about the problem as much as you want, but then at the critical moment, you will pick, period. But the good news about all of this situation right here is there are things that you can do. Alcohol is not one of them. Alcohol not only damages your brain, okay, that's a big, big no-no, and the second thing it does it lowers your willpower. Obviously, as I said many times, you can't defeat really skin picking disorder just with the willpower. But what the willpower can help you with is that one second decision between doing something you should not be doing and not doing it, okay? So willpower is still useful, but at the same time, we need to feed our brain with the right nutrients. Alcohol is not one of them. The third is caffeine. Why is caffeine a problem? It, it, caffeine is a problem for two different reasons. And again, it's linked to how the brain functions, okay? I'm sorry, this, this video here became a biochemistry lesson, but you have to understand these kind of things because there will be a point where I'm not gonna be there. Or maybe I have not yet recorded the video and you have to be able to make the right choice. So caffeine, what does caffeine do? So caffeine is very rewarding when you have it right, you feel really, really good thing. The reason why it makes you more stress, it makes you produce what, like I said before, cortisol. Cortisol is the main stress hormone of the body. When you produce cortisol, you're going to feel stress. When you feel stress, you know what happens? Your willpower goes down and you're going to peak more. So obviously caffeine is a big no-no, especially in the whole recovery phase. Now, if you want to reintroduce slowly caffeine, maybe after three, six months, when you are like free of skin picking, that's debatable and maybe you can do it, but right now, no. And let me tell you this, what alternative do you have? Like, like really, is having like the scars on the skin an actual alternative? Or is it better not to have the scar, have the skin that you desire and cut out coffee? 
because that's the choice, because it's going to happen. It is absolutely going to happen. Now, enough with this video here before it becomes too long. If you want to understand more, I put a masterclass in the video description. In that masterclass, I go through everything that you need to understand about skin picking disorder, the dermatillomania, and you will understand why it is happening, what to do about it, okay? Both areas are very, very important. That's obviously a longer masterclass. I think it's about 40 minutes and you can really learn everything and there is no point for me to put like a, like a class as long as that one on my social media because no one is gonna watch it. But it's not like a tricky class where you have to give me your email, then I'm gonna email you 62 times a day. No, 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 no. You just literally go down below, you can watch the class right away. For now, have a beautiful day. Ciao, ciao, bye-bye.